He's going to have to command all three if he's going to have success on the hill today. Okay, all set to go. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. First pick, one o'clock. A one down. Right through there for a strike. Oh. And takes low for ball one. one ball. He's a bad He's ball great. hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Backed off the plate that time. There's the ball. He's great. And a swing and a miss. And there's one away. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age. Sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter and get the result that they were anticipating. That's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Now the batter now, Cal Raleigh. Two down, nobody on. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Righty delivers. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two out, space is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Got it! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back at Yankee Stadium and towing the slab here, Logan Gilbert. Chris having a scouting report. Leading off. Well, he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And he deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Right hander kicks deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Here comes a pitch. Got him. One away. You know, that high four seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop up. One out, base is empty. That one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. There's a swing and a miss. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something built high. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one, punching out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. It's Aaron Judge now. And a swing and a miss. One strike.
And Judge spoils that one. And that's in the dirt. Ball one. Line drive. Judge out on the play. And that's the inning. One, two, three, go the Yankees. Scoreless after one. New inning getting started. And now for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. And that's outside. Yeah, that's ball one. The Mariners knew what they had. Signed him in July of 2017 for a little under $2 million when Rodriguez was just 16 years old out of the Dominican Republic. Next offering is downstairs. Fast forward to 2022 for Julio Rodriguez to win the Rookie of the Year. The Seattle Mariners were then compensated with the 29th overall pick in the first round of the draft in 2023. Part of the new CBA enticing teams to promote their good young players. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Luke Rayleigh stands in here, takes ball one low. That misses. Now 2-0. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. The pitch. And that one fouled off. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. stays alive that ball is foul and the pressure is building 2-2 Two -two on the way towards first Rizzo Save! You gotta love his hustle down the line to beat the flip to the bag. I mean, there's a lot going on between the first baseman and the pitcher during these plays, and he just kept his head down and beat it out. Now it's Randy Arozarena. Swung on, belted. Soto on the move, heading back. Up against the wall and brings it in. Runner tags and goes to third. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Two on, one out. So now Turner in on that right side. That's in there. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And that's off the inside edge. And it's a ball to strike. Two on, one out. And that's in for a strike. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. Second inning here. No score. This to center field. Judge getting an angle on it. Drops into the glove. Here comes the runner from third. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. Back here in New York, bottom of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him, Austin Wells. Gilbert back to work. One Outside, oh, Gilbert, a 6'6 righty, 26 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2018. And a foul ball. The 1-1. One -one. Fouled off. He was late. Kicks and fires. 
Fouls it off. Still one and two. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. Right side. And that chance handled. Tosses to first. And quickly one away in the second. Here's Stanton now. Swing and a miss. Going one. one. Base is empty one away. Bottom half of inning number two. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. The next offering misses. And that's ball one. On the ground to third. Rojas. Sends it across to first. And that quickly two away. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. And that one fouled off. Good oh, eye in that nice. spot. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Inside almost got him. Wouldn't chase that time. Three and two. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. That's long gone. That one felt good. Just like that, they move in front. It's one nothing. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Hit hard on the ground to short. Crawford throws the yep, first in out. time. Rizzo out of the play. And that is the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now 1-0. Onto the third inning and stepping in for the Mariners, Jorge Polanco. Back to the mound, he's got it. Tosses to first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. Good slider inside right there, batter fighting batter to get gone. there, just rolled over the it, got the ground ball. Here's Josh Rojas. Rojas. And that one fouled off. Close, no, but called a ball. And the count even one and one. Trying to hold a one run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. That's out number two. His defense is better than a lot of people think. He's a big guy, but very athletic, moves well, and that was. Very nice play going back to get it out late in this ball game. Checks a swing, appeal to third, and that's a swing according to umpire Ed Drummond. Looking to get the tying run on base. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. So two down, and now it's Victor Robles up to hit. 
Got it started a little too early. Strike one. one Typically, strike. the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Two outs. Out to short. Volpe. They get the force, and that is the inning. So one hit is all they get. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Back in the Bronx as we go to the last of the third. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that one is off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. So, man aboard, here's Alex Verdugo. That one fouled off. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. So the batting order turns over. Glaber Torres stepping in now for the Yankees. Struck out swinging his first time. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Here's Juan Soto. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he could turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Around third. He scores, and they take a two-run lead. Got the job done to put him up by two. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Two outs, runner at first. Here comes Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 1. That's one down and in. Soto, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering upstairs. Line to left. Bounces over the wall in foul ground. It's an automatic double. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. So two on, but two away. And now, Austin Wells. <laughs> Swing and a miss as he was late. Base oh, knock here really gives them an opportunity to take control of this ball game. You don't want that other team to think they have a shot. And a knock here would be a big blow. Traffic on the bases with one already in here in the last half of the third. Two on, two outs. That's the ball. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. One run is in. Now two runs score, and it's 4-0. Safely into second, he's got a double. 
has two consecutive extra base hits for this team. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Man in scoring position with two away. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1 so far. Swing and a high fly ball left field. A Rosarena moving under it. And that is the third out of the inning. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two run double. It's now a four nothing ball game. Back. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth. Cal Raleigh. Heel back to work. And he grounds one to the right side. A flip to the pitcher covering and a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. One for one with a single so far. That one's in there on one. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. That one down the line. The throw to first. Rodriguez out of the play. The batter, the first baseman, Luke Rayleigh. And here's the first baseman, Luke Rayleigh. That's to third. Jazz tosses the first, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. And welcome back Ready to the to ballpark. Go. The Ready Yankees. to go. Bottom four. And stepping in for the Yankees, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And here it comes. And it's fouled away. You know, these Yankees showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else. Perhaps a fastball a little more straight and velo to it. Rizzo in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. This one in the air. Under it. And there's two away. Now batting, shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. A double and a run scored his first time up. Well struck right field. That's back there. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. All set for the start of the inning. Leading off, Randy or Rosarena. On the ground right side, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So, man aboard. Here's Turner now. One and ball. delivers outside. Okay. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. That's in there. And yeah, the count even at one. Fly ball down the line. Soto going after it. Makes the grab. Runner tags at second. And it comes in too late. He's up to third on the flyout with one away. The batter now, Jorge Polanco, grounded out his first time. What an Pitch gets away. And the runner holds. One away with a runner at third. Next offering is in for a strike. One one. And he pumps his strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Bounce to the left side. To first, 
Now two away as they get a run across. Well, a run comes across the score right there, but defensively, when you have a lead like this late in the ball game, you're counting outs. Nice job of simply just trading a run for an out. Rojas in the box now. No oh balls and a strike. And it's one and one. One ball, one strike. Yankees up by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. And that drops in for a strike. Ground ball, and this should do it. Throw to first, ball game. And the Yankees playing the win here behind some great pitching and defense. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle-of-the-pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.